Contrapuntal reading uh, is a very important and significant uh, trope and uh, methodology of studying texts, especially from the post-colonial point of view. This was introduced and uh, explained and then popularized by Edward Said in his uh, 1993 book Culture and Imperialism. Though this was the first formal introduction, throughout his uh, career he has been doing the same thing with literary and other texts of Western culture. Uh, as it is said, it is simple if it, if it is kept that way. So if I want to keep it simple, contrapuntal is basically implies counterpointal, that is pointal within quotations. That is, I have to see the counterpoint in everything. It's like as we say in law, here the other side, is here the other side, autem, alter, and partem, etc. So counterpointal reading is reading against the grain. Now, this is in a way reading within a text, but even without a text, without means outside text. If we look into the whole world literature as a complete body, you know, we had to apply this contrapuntal reading. Here he uses the theme, uh, I mean, so the concept from Western music is in contrapuntal music, various themes or motifs play uh, against one another or after one another without any uh, priority given to only one theme or tune we can say. If you have heard the Shahnai thing in India, there are two types of players. One continues a regular kind of pitch, the other plays various themes. The other one, that is the contrapuntal thing or even this two can be the regular player and the other one with variations in tune, these two constitute the contrapuntal. So, as I have said in another video on Global Actics by Gogi Vasyongo, contrapuntal uh, arguably is the progenitor of Global Actics. When we studied world literature earlier or even today within English departments, or comparative literature departments. Generally, generally, by world literature, we by and large mean actually Western literature. That too, mainly European literature. But uh, that is not a contrapuntal reading, actually. That will not be contrapuntal. It will be highly a canonical reading. So, canonical versus contrapuntal. So, when you say world literature, yes, we have to bring world literature from all countries, from Africa, China, etc and study all at one level, I mean at the same level, without any special priority uh, given to any. That is contrapuntal reading. So you read uh, Conrad's Heart of Darkness then with the same kind of weight, or uh, as we say in Indian English weightage, you read uh, things fall apart, giving inherent superiority to neither but play the themes against one another play the texts against one another for more and more views to emerge uh, well personally i do not uh, know how far it will be applicable if we uh, go farther into it there is, but then there is a merit in it for example there are certain great texts as I have been teaching, Milton's Paradise Lost, for example, or in it. Yes, the concept of greatness is severely understood. I myself have worked in, on, worked in canon politics, uh, and this is a call for decolonization, and de both decolonization and decolonization, this contrapuntal reading. Uh, but you know, to speak uh, the truth, the truth, I want to use advisedly, I do not think you can have the same kind of parameter for studying Paradise Lost and Lucy Poems. Well, to some extent, uh, worse, worse, the Prelude and the Paradise Lost can be studied with the same kind of uh, frame of reference, 
but the other two third you know Blake's tiger tiger burning bright and Virgil's in it they do not belong to the same category let alone non-european text so there must be uh, different standards so i think it is best if we apply size contrapuntal reading so far as the locations of the texts are concerned that is no special privilege to european texts uh, in comparison to asia and or african texts etc but if we delve deeper further deep you know genre wise or theme wise there will be variations across texts even if we do not i mean we should not discriminate among them on the basis of location or writers but i think genre and theme wise we cannot put them you know all in the same category uh, to repeat you know a very simple nursery rhyme like baba black sheep and king lear i do not think cannot be read against to one another so as simple as that but apart from that again to repeat contrapuntal reading is a uh, welcome move to open up the western canon as well as the uh, canonical reading of the western canon so for us uh, the study of literature or pluralization of study of literature is concerned uh, thank you